Uh, I could not be happier with, I mean, I've never prepared a frame like this before. I mean, granted, it's just the seat bar and well in and up bar. That bar is pretty important. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing will get me down the road. I mean, for what I saved, 50% off on this thing, essentially. Brand new unit. Um, and all it cost me was some time and material to do this. So right now, we're gonna disconnect the cage and take the front half of this cage off, essentially. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bolts that go right here, the bolts that go right here, and bolts here, and take this whole, essentially, this part right here, and this part right here off. So I'm gonna get this all off, and then we'll see what she looks like. And now the time has come to cut this bad boy out right here. So we're gonna cut that pipe out, and then we can dress that pipe, cut that little bit of pipe out, dress those two pipes. We gotta dress the top of the pipe up here, dress that pipe right there, this one right there, that one right there, and this one right there. So, i.e., that's what I'm doing the rest of tonight. And then put two new bars in, do a bunch of welding, and hope everything fits close enough I mean realistically we're not getting the mics out here we're not doing any uh, precision measuring to make sure this is right it's got to just be in the ballpark and uh, we'll be okay with that we're, we're calling this the scumbag frame uh, restoration channel or whatever something like that it'll be strong strong enough all right so I'm gonna get that cut off and I will show you guys once I got it all cut apart and looking even worse than it does now all right, so as you can see, we got that bar out, we got everything cleaned up, and we are pretty much ready to throw the new bar in. We even got it all cleaned up up in there. Everything looking good. So because we're going from inch and seven eighths to inch and three quarter, we're leaving ourselves the inside diameter of the tube that was already in here, uh, and we'll just burn it all together, and it'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. It's temporary, right? Um, unfortunately, down here, we have to take that all the way out because we have the right tube for this one. Well, right tube, the right size. Both of these tubes are oversized in the sidewall department. Um, and inch and three quarters, no slouch over here. So it'll be plenty fine. So I still have to dress and do everything back over here, but this item up bar needs to be in first before anything else can really happen. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. That and I'm not exactly sure how I'm getting those two cleaned up yet. None of the ideas I have are any good. Um, and they all suck. So this bar was pushed in a little bit, so I have kicked it out, and this one you can see is popped out this way, which is not the end of the world because what I'll end up doing is taking a strap and going from here over to there. And I'll pull this bar back to where it needs to be. And I'll also probably have to pull it up towards here as well, which is kind of why I need to have this all in and good before I get to there. So that's the, uh, where we're at. Realistically, I am winging it, um, as I always do. Not a whole lot of people that do any frame repairs on this, and I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, so one school of thought would have been to hit, put everything exactly where it's supposed to be or where it was. Oh, so there's two trains of thought on how to support this over here. Uh, one would be kind of like we did with the Subaru where we X framed it and made it to where we couldn't move so that we didn't lose where we were. And normally you would do that with this type of thing, except for the fact that it's all been moved due to an accident. So. I'm gonna go to the old frame across the street that I have in the trailer, and I'm going to essentially take all my measurements so I know where these parts are roughly supposed to be, because it's not gonna be perfect. This is this frame is going away. This frame is a temporary frame. One day, I will put a different frame underneath this machine. Um, that day isn't coming anytime soon. <laughs> so this will get us close, and these frames get tweaked. Um, so I'm pretty sure it won't tweak where everything we just did. So. 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow, I gotta put that up bar in, get it all close. And really what's stopping me from doing that tonight is I have to go home, get into the trailer, take those measurements, and come all the way back. I ain't coming back. It's, it's late. That ain't happening. We all know that ain't happening. So I'm just going to get the measurements in the morning, come over here first thing, get that up bar in, and once that's done, I can get the rest done. I can get this thing welded in tonight. All right, so it's the next morning. Uh, I have done some work, got the pipe fit up. I'll show you that in a second. We're all cleaned up and about ready to weld our up pipe. Took measurements this morning. Was able to get it pretty close. Had to lift it up. It, it drooped down just a little bit, but everything else seems to be pretty much where it's supposed to be in the front dash so far. So I'll show you that real quick. All right, so yeah, as you can see, the bar is in now. You can't tell. <laughs> realistically that's an inch and three quarter bar with a thicker wall than it it is an inch and seven eighths with a thinner wall so got a little bit of a gap here but that'll be sucked down and in because this is actually a little high um so it needs to tweak down at an angle but yeah we're all coped in down at the bottom we're coped in at the top the cope right here isn't terrible it's a little filler but it's not bad so once I get all of this tacked together, I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna get everything tacked. Then I'll work my way out to figuring this bar out right here. So that's the next step after this. So I'm gonna get this thing all tacked together. Well, first I'm gonna get some straps because I need to pull this in a little and then I need to pull this down a little, which I will do with straps once I start tacking and playing. But yeah, so we got some good welds, we got some okay welds, we got some dog shit welds. Those are terrible, but that joint was welded like crap, and I had a problem where it was just chasing it. Every time I welded it, it would just chase. So, it's just a support bar for there. It's strong. Uh, good welds up in there. Looking good. Got my gusset back on. Got myself all welded up and in here. Doing alright there. Did a decent, decent job, I think. It's strong, it ain't going nowhere. Everything lines up nice, everything looks triangled, coped in, perfect. So realistically, once I paint it and put everything back on, I don't know that you're gonna know that uh, it was wrecked. Well, that's the whole point. All right, so that was fun. Got all of these pipes coped and cleaned up and ready to go i just gotta clean off around the uh edges a little bit more in a couple of spots but they're pretty much ready i guess they're most of the way ready but yeah so all i need to do is put my new pipe in problem is i'm noticing the reason i can't put i was thinking about coping in this pipe and going from here to there to there all the way up to there uh i can't do that due to the fact that I have to basically come in here and then go back forward to catch there. We gotta slip past and in um, because we have so many connections. If we were building this from the frame up, we would put this bar in to here before this bar went in and that would allow us to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get my measurements here and figure out what I need to do for this. I'm not going off the stock because things are a little bit different here in this regard and it's just a seat bar and it doesn't matter all that much so that's what we're gonna do get that in and i will show you how we look when we're done all right so there you go that is the uh finished product well finished product for tonight i guess we're gonna uh, end up getting some paint tomorrow we'll pick that up while we're out and finish it off so we got all of this put back together and gusseted back up as you can see Everything looking stock. And then we went over here and I uh, flipped these around because I wanted them up. Because I'm so tall, my I need the seating position the way it is for me and that just worked out better. And while I'm cutting and grinding and welding, figured I might as well move them. So uh, maybe later on I'll take them off and do a different style or whatever. But for now, flipped is where it works for me. Uh, at some point I'm going to go to a taller seat and it'll actually line up where I need it to be. All right, so it's a day or two later. I don't know. I don't know when the last time I checked in with you was. I've been bad about that. I got way into working on this. And, uh, yeah, so we did some things. You know, how I like to say, so I did some stuff. So I really did some stuff this time, boys. So I got her all welded back in. 
painted plastics on tank back in working on putting her back together center consoles back on and i'll tell you what shoot dang you can't tell not a damn thing i'm trying to drive this damn thing out of here tonight and then i was like shit i haven't filmed it a little bit so that's what we're up to we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the plastics and everything on going over here we'll get the seat in we'll get the rest of the dash all buttoned up right here and then that's about as far as we're gonna make it to unfortunately because we're gonna run into a problem of we don't have our front plastic piece here yet and we don't have our front fender so we're gonna be basically back to where we were before we were riding around so i'm gonna see if i can't tweak the roof a little bit and try and put it back on and then other than that we're pretty much gonna call it so We'll see how it goes. I'm really stoked with how this whole thing came out. Like super stoked with how it came out. It looks perfect. I wish the paint job was a little bit better right there on that one bar, but that's where I scumbagged it at the end there. Uh, and realistically, I will say this textured paint from Astroleum, it matches perfectly. And like after this gets dirty, you'll never be able to tell, but it seems to be softer than whatever is the coating on here. It seems like it scratches really easy. We'll see. It's easy to touch up, so I don't really care too much. The reveals are good now that I'm really looking at how it looks. Uh, I could not be happier with, I mean, I've never prepared a frame like this before. I mean, granted, it's just the seat bar and well, in an up bar. That bar is pretty important. But uh, yeah, I mean, this thing will get me down the road. I mean, for what I saved, 50% off on this thing, essentially. Brand new unit. Um, and all it cost me was some time and material to do this. And it wasn't nowhere near that. So, just saying. All right. Well, we got her back how she was when we started. We're still waiting on some panels over here. But uh, we're all back together. Looking good. Lowered the seats. Got those dropped down. Got those raised up. I dig them. It'll work for tall people. And now, uh, yeah, looking good. So when these extra two pieces get here, we will be able to put the rest of this thing together and it'll look real good. And then we can start putting some time and money into some upgrades and uh, that type of stuff. So we'll see when we get to that. But that's going to pretty much wrap it up for our little scumbag adventure on this. I mean, I'm, I can't be any happier. It's strong. It'll, it'll look stock. Uh, the paint even come out pretty close, realistically. And the roof is still jacked, but we tweaked it back in. It's quite a bit better than it was. I'm gonna put the front back on it at some point, but right now I wanna keep rocking the top off. you guys checking in make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and if you're new uh go check out the rest of the stuff we got we got a ton of stuff there's all kinds of stuff crazy we all all of it everything not well but we do it all <laughs>